Hello everyone, this is Hurang. In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure VirtualBox integrated into GNS3. But before doing that, I assume that you have already installed VirtualBox, added some v, uh, virtual machine, and also installed uh, GNS3. If you haven't done that, or if you don't know how to do that, you can follow the two links that uh, appears on your screen. Uh, in those videos, I have shown you how to do that. But with that assumption, let's start GNS3 and uh, start configuring a virtual box. Once you start a GNS3, click on edit on the menu bar and then choose preferences, the last item on this menu. A new window opens. Then here, click on virtual box tab. And then in this window, you don't really have to do anything. At the bottom of this window, you have a test settings button. Click on that. After a moment, it gives you a message. VirtualBox wrapper and VirtualBox API, whatever version that you have, have successfully started. Now, sometimes when you click on test settings, you might get, uh, yeah, like a menu might pop up. That's your firewall uh, menu that uh, asks you, this VirtualBox wrapper is trying to get access to the internet. Are you going to block it or unblock it? So if you get that message, please unblock it and let it access wherever you want to go. Okay, once you get this message, click on VirtualBox Guest tab. Now, here you will have the list of all virtual machines that you have added to VirtualBox. If I start my VirtualBox, you will see I have a list of virtual machines. I'm going to keep this here the right corner and you'll see the same list appears here now if you want to add them to GNS3 just click on them give them a name for example I say VM1 and here you'll see number of network interface cards by default it says it has two so do not reduce it the first one is the original network card that you had there and the second one is the one that GNS3 added. You can increase it, but do not decrease it. And then after that, click on save. Now let's add another one. I call this VM2, save. And the third one, let's name this one. I call this three, save. And then after that, click on OK. Now you've already installed, uh, like, added all virtual machines in GNS3. You can click on VirtualBox Guest, drag and drop it into your topology uh, area. Then after that, you will see a menu pops up that has a drop down menu. Now these are the virtual machines that I've already added. So you click on one of them, okay. You will see that virtual machine appears here. If you drag and drop the second one, now this time you won't see the first virtual machine in this list. That's because you can't add two instances of the same virtual machine in GNS3, which is fine. So you click on the second one and OK. Now, if I want to connect these two to each other, either I can do it directly or I just bring in a switch and then drag, click on this switch and when you click on the virtual machine, the first interface is already grayed out, so you can't choose it. You have the second one. So when you click on the second one, it means this virtual machine's second card is connected to the switch. Now, if you start this virtual machine and if you go in, please configure the second uh, interface card, network interface card that you have there, not the first one. So to start it, easily right click on it and start and you'll see that the virtual machine starts okay so you see that the configuration is very easy and that's how you configure a virtual box in gns3 i hope this video is helpful to you and thank you for watching